Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Windows 10 update service is apparently missing on your Windows computer. So if you're running a Windows update, it says error encountered. There were some problems installing updates, but we'll try again later. If you keep seeing this and want to search the web or contact support for information, this may help. And then there's a following error code 0x8007000006. So pretty straightforward process about how to hopefully go about resolving it and we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the star menu. Type in reg edit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor or reg edit. And you want to go right click on that. And then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. So before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong in the future, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it is very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab up at the top left. Select export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup export range, keep it at all, and then save it to convenient and easily accessible location on your device. Normally I would save it to like a desktop or maybe a documents folder. If you had an external flash drive, save it there. Pretty straightforward wherever you want to save it. And if you ever need to import it back in, just select file and then import. So pretty easy process I would say. And once you've made your backup, we're ready to begin. And we're going to start by expanding the HK Local Machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the drop down folders. Do the same thing now for the System folder. Double click on that. And now it should be a current control set. Double click on that. And now there should be a Services folder. I'm going to expand that one. And now finally we want to locate a WUAUSERV folder, so Windows Update AUSERV, basically you want to break it down like that. And it should be somewhere near the bottom of this list here, so we're going to just scroll down. right here. And if you need to pause the video, you can see the path that we followed at the top of the registry editor screen right here. Each backslash means a different folder we've gone under. And finally, once you are on this final folder, the WUAUSERV folder, now that we've located this folder, you want to right click on it, select delete. It's going to ask, are you sure you want to permanently delete this key and all of its sub keys? Select yes. Again, you should already have a backup, so if anything went wrong, you could easily just restore it back like I showed it before. And now we're going to go ahead and minimize or close out of the registry editor. And now what you want to do is open up the SAR menu, type in Notepad. So open up Notepad here. Now I'm going to have a very long area of text that I'm probably going to have just a link to like a paste bin file or something. So just open up the link. I'm going to have all this pasted in there here. So it should say Windows Registry Editor version 5.0. Very long here. I do not expect anybody to type this out. It's machine code basically. And what we're going to do is left click on the File tab. Select Save As. In the file name here, do you want to type in Windows 10 Fix .reg? You can type in whatever you want, but just make sure it says .reg at the end. And then I'm going to select Desktop, so we're going to save it to the Desktop here. Encoding, you want to click inside this drop down here. Select ANSI. Again, very important, so just make sure you save it at .ansi. And it should be .reg in the file name, so those two things are important here. Select the Save option. Now you see we have a registry key on our desktop, so just close out of here. And now you want to go double click on this registry file that we just created. Select Yes. 
it's going to say adding information can unintentionally change or delete values and cause components to stop working correctly. If you do not trust the source of the information in this location, do not add it to the registry. We're going to select yes. So let's say the keys and values contained have been successfully added to the registry. Select OK. Now that you've done that, you can delete the registry file if you want. You can save it. It doesn't really matter to me. You don't need it anymore at this point. So then if you just go ahead and restart the computer. And then we're going to go ahead and check for a Windows update once our system has restarted. Okay, so now that our computer has restarted, we're going to go open up the start menu, type in update. Best match to go back with check for updates, so go ahead and just left click on that. And then if you select check for updates, it should begin checking for updates on your computer. So pretty much it. Hopefully that should have been able to resolve your issue at that point. So just go ahead, let it install, check for updates here. So there you go. You can see it is downloading updates right now. So that's good. That's what we want to see. If you were still having an issue, if we close out of here, we can try opening up the star menu, type in CMD, best match to come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now I'm going to have a couple commands in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy them separately. So I'm not going to make you guys wait through all these scans because they do take some time. But just for an example, the first one, the SFC scan now. Just copy it from my description of my video and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt. Right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste to paste it in and then just let it run for some time, probably will take about 10 or 15 minutes, restart your computer, and then follow that up with the next two commands I'm going to have in the description of the video, and that should hopefully be about it. So, I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, was able to resolve your problem, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.